Throughout history, humanity has grappled with the concept of hell. It's a place shrouded in mystery and fear, depicted in art, literature. The religious teachings is a realm of eternal torment. But what if I told you that much of what we believe about hell isn't rooted in biblical truth? Join me on a journey as we explore the myths arise surrounding hell and discover what the Bible truly has to say about this enigmatic realm. The concept of hell has evolved over millennia, shaped by diverse cultural influences and soon in imagination. From the fiery depths of Greek towers to the medieval visions of Dante's Inferno. Our perception of hell has been molded by centuries of artistic interpretations, theological debates, and popular culture. Yet amidst the flames and demons lies a question. What does the Bible actually say about hell? In this documentary we'll delve deep into the pages of scripture separating fact from fiction and uncovering the truth about hell. We'll challenge long held beliefs, confront misconceptions, and explore the cultural and historical context that have shaped our understanding of this profound topic. So, buckle up and prepare to embark on a journey of enlightenment as we unravel the myths and lies about hell. Welcome to Myths and Lies About Hell. What does the Bible say? Contrary to popular belief, the Bible presents a nuanced perspective on hell that challenges many common misconceptions. In biblical theology, Judgment Day has not yet arrived, and currently, only Satan and his demonic cohorts reside in hell. Regardless of their deeds, or in a state of suspension, awaiting the return of Christ, in the foul judgment, we soon disturbed in contact. A concept that has been widely embraced, but lacks solid biblical foundation, until isolationism. A theological viewpoint gaining traction among scholars, proposing that those deemed the redeemable will ultimately face annihilation by God after a period of punishment. This interpretation is the traditional narrative of eternal suffering prompting us to reconsider the nature of divine justice and the fate of the damned. Moreover, the misconception that Satan rules over hell is a prevalent falsehood perpetuated by cultural and artistic depictions rather than biblical truth. In reality, hell is portrayed in scripture as Satan's prison, not his kingdom. This distinction is crucial in understanding the power dynamics within the biblical narrative and dispelling common myths about the hierarchy of evil. Additionally, while hell is sparingly mentioned in the Old Testament, the concepts like purgatory lack solid biblical footing. They have been widely embraced in Christian theology, Underscoring the influence of tradition and interpretation on our understanding of the afterlife. As we navigate the complexities of biblical theology, it becomes clear that our understanding of hell is deeply intertwined with cultural, historical, and theological factors. By engaging with scripture critically, in exploring the device interpretations offered by theologians throughout history, we can begin to unravel the myths and lies surrounding hell and gain deeper insight into the divine mysteries and tales. Join us on this journey of discovery as we seek to uncover the truth about hell and its implications for our understanding of God's justice and heresy. In conclusion, our exploration of the myths and lies surrounding hell is shed light on the complexities of biblical theology and the enduring influence of cultural and historical narratives. Through motivous examination of scripture, we've confronted common misconceptions about hell. From the notion of eternal torment to the misconception of Satan's dominion over the realm of the damned, We've delved into theological debates, challenging traditional interpretations and inviting viewers to reconsider their understanding of divine justice and mercy as we navigate the complexities of biblical theology.
It's essential to approach the subject with humility and open-mindedness, recognizing that our understanding of hell is shaped by a myriad of factors. By interrogating old, held beliefs, and engaging with scripture critically. You can cultivate a deeper appreciation that the rich tapestry of theological discourse and the enduring quest for truth. Thank you for joining us on this journey of discovery. They are exploration of myths and lies about hell serve as a catalyst for further reflection and dialogue. As we continue to seek truth and understanding in matters of faith and theology, the journey doesn't end here. It's just the beginning.